Hello everyone. In this video, I will show you how to use fork system call in Linux. So fork is actually used to create a process, and uh, when this uh, system call is called, it will return a process ID. So in order to save that process ID, we will declare a variable p, and here we will write fork, and let's print it. So the thing is that when you write a program using fork, how it works? Uh, let let me take a example. So here, uh, this is our program. So when this program is start executing, uh, so this is a actually a different program. So in this program till here, uh, your program is getting executed without any problem. But as soon as it will execute this statement, PID equal to fork. At this point of time, this entire process, this address space will be duplicated. So this entire process will be duplicated, and these two process now start their execution from this point onwards. So this program also will execute from here onwards, and this one also start executing from here onwards. Now the thing is that uh, this statement PID fork in a parent. In parent process, this system call will return a non-zero value, and uh, when this process gets duplicated here, it will return zero. So, on the basis of this PID, we would know whether we are in parent process or we are in child process. So, what we are going to do is we are going to check here if P is greater than zero. In that case, we will print. Printf. It's a parent process, and we will print ID of that process. Otherwise, we will simply print child process, and we will print. We want to see what's the value in P for child. So let's save this program and. Compile it. Okay, so uh, if you can see here, it's a parent process. So parent has executed, and then child has executed here. So we have taken only one instruction here. In case if there is lengthy code written in this portion and in this portion as well, so when these process got, uh, gets duplicated both processes start executing simultaneously so they will execute at the same time but in this case we are having only a single instruction so it's giving us a feel that first this process gets completed then child and one more thing you need to remember when you use fork so in parent if you want to wait parent process uh, before completing you can use a wait function so here if we write wait so if we write here a wait function we will use that wait function it will ensure you that parent will not terminate before terminating child so this is a simple use of for system call in the next tutorial i will show you the basics of zombie process how to create a zombie process and what is actually meaning of zombie process thank you very much for watching